Hi everybody and welcome to our Christmas countdown 2021 where we are revealing what's in our Nordic sweaters. And we are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos and this is the 24 Nordic sweaters countdown to Christmas by Arne and Carlos. What a coincidence, isn't it? Yeah, That's, this was a different opening. Yeah, well, yeah. we have to, you know, do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, keep it all exciting and fun. Yeah. And by the way, this podcast is supported by Prim, for inspiration. Thank you so much, Prim, for supporting our <laughs> podcast and for bringing Christmas early to everybody yeah. who follows us. You see, I can do TV shop now. Yeah, you can. QVC, it's called. QVC? Yeah. I'm let's so see you. Let's you see remember you. remember we did that in England? That was so fun. Yeah, we sold the uh, Sakyan from Regia, our own designs on QVC and in books. London. And books, and yeah. And we had a great time. Or in the UK. Yeah, we done it two times. What was it called? It was called, was it QVC? It was called something home. No. I don't remember. No, it's but anyway, it was fun. Yeah, it, it was, was a fun. fun thing. The first time we did that was in 2015. Yeah. And we sold everything. Everything. We, yeah. we can sell I anything. mean, sold it out. We sold it out. <laughs> we can sell anything on, on TV shop. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> if we try. <laughs> anyway, to, really. today we are back okay. with a new, uh, a new video. And uh, as always, revealing the little secrets inside uh, the um, advent calendar that we designed. Yes. Um, First, we had a lot of uh, fun knitting it, um, and we did actually all the knitting this summer. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the planning of the purchase of the little mementos that we were going to buy each other, they've actually gone throughout the year. Yeah. So, uh, and actually this year we were lucky because last year we weren't traveling. This year, even though we haven't traveled a lot, we have been traveling a little bit more than we did last year. It means yeah. we've been able to get out of the house and actually gone into some nice stores uh, yeah. in Sweden, Iceland, which are the two countries we've been to. We've been in Sweden how many times? Three? Uh, yeah, three Four, times. Three times? One, two, three times uh, to be with my parents and to help them out with yeah. a lot of things. And then we've been once to Iceland. And, I, and then we've also been to Trondheim, we've been to yeah. uh, we Sättestal. We traditional summer yeah. tours in the Beatles. Yeah, we did some work in Trondheim last spring and uh, yeah, and this fall we've been to Oslo quite a few times. So yeah, we've, we've been getting around a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been a little bit uh, of a relief compared to last year when we were stuck in the house all day. Yeah. Uh, the only issue of course is the folk costume jackets. Will we finish them before Christmas or not? That is the question. Oh, I don't know. And every time we I still think, still have a few days, but yeah. Every time I think about it, my face goes. Ah. But it's not. It's not. Not a problem because now I have those beautiful sweaters from Satastal, and yeah. I think we will. It, don't if we don't put put pressure on ourselves. We should say we could reveal everything for the seventeenth of May. Yeah. We'll see because we, we have some adjustments to do as well, and oh, yeah. I'm not sure about if that if you have time. My weight loss, especially, yeah. that's a lot of adjusting. So I think maybe you have to wear a belt, or <laughs> I'm gonna belt my <laughs> pants. Yeah, <laughs> you have to belt your fault costume. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> yeah some, like, like a big buckle. buckle yeah, right. <laughs> and oh. then the folk costume police is gonna come and arrest me for for uh, yeah. degrading the yeah. folk costume or something. You know, I have a very nice one from uh, from uh, New York. Yeah, from a big cow, uh, like a big uh, cowboy like a, belt. The cowboy belt with the cow with big horns. Mm. You can have that one. Anyway, Arna, are you curious to find out what I got for you today? Yeah, I am, and we are. It's my turn. Yep. Sixteen. Yeah. 16, only 16. And as always, there's also a little greeting from Anna, PJ and Eric in there uh, in form of a comment that somebody posted on one of our episodes this year. Mm. Mm. This is interesting. And I'm sorry, I didn't have time to put uh, that tissue paper as you You make do. it more exciting when it makes yeah. a noise. So, um, oh, there's something. Be careful, pop be careful. Okay, this is it. Something's be popping up. Yeah, be careful. Okay. You don't so, want to break it. No. So this is uh, from Welcome to Our Digital Universe. Oh yeah, we did a video uh, this year where we introduced everybody to our digital uh, universe and showed everybody how to navigate our website. Including me. Uh, yeah, you because learned a I lot. Because I don't understand. Yeah, you learned a lot. I learned a lot. Mm. And if you have, if you want to want to learn something about that, you can put the link, Carl. Yeah, I can. <laughs> okay. Uh, how much fun was that 
Thank you so much for... Oh, I first have to say who it's from. Yeah. Foo Foo Foon. Wow, that's, that's a cool nice. name. Foo Foo Foon. Foo Foon. That's cool. Uh, how much fun was that? Thank you so much for letting us laugh with you out loud. I haven't laughed so hard for such a long time. I'm sure my BP went down 20 points. What's the, What's BP? the BP? Maybe some stress level or something? I don't oh, know. Maybe. maybe. Hope, hope it's the stress level. So thank you. So, so thankful for you too. Keep laughing, smiling and enjoying life. It's contagious. Yeah, keep smiling and enjoy life. It's contagious. Thank you so Thank much. You. I just need to get my phone because I have to find out what BP is. BP. Very happy that we make you laugh. Sometimes it's not attentional because we just say things and it comes out strange. But that's so what does what BP? is a BP? Blood pressure. Ah, blood pressure. So, that, of course. so it was the stress levels. Yeah. So you see, you're, you're smart. So thank you, Fu Fu Foon, and uh, we're glad we <laughs> could relax you a little bit, you know, uh, and keep your blood pressure at the right level. Uh, it is very important. Yeah. And uh, thank cool. you so much for writing. We're really happy that we are able to entertain you and everybody else who watches the channel. Mm -hmm. But now I have to so get on in there. there. Hmm. Oh yeah, this feels like something. That Exciting. I, I need. A okay, let me uh, hold it. Coffee mug. For the dollhouse. Am I You're hitting, so supportive, Carlos. Am I hitting this uh, whole thrift store business out of the park or what? Uh, uh -huh. No, that's not for this this one. This this must be. Yeah. That's the cauldron. The cauldron. And then there's one more thing. Yeah, there it is. I thought that you needed, and I love the copper utensils, it's, yeah, you know. It's so nice. You know, like in those French chateaus, you oh, know there's those... there's more on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's, some, there's something else. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, so, for that, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's for the cauldron, yeah. So this should be... So you know those renovating shows that you watch on YouTube, those chateau, uh, yeah, well, sh chateau diaries and uh, doing it ourselves yeah. and all those? Well, they have these beautiful French kitchens with all the copper. Yeah, but this goes in the kitchen in the dollhouse. Yeah, and it's copper. Yeah, it's so beautiful. it's the same kind of French cookery or utensils. And that these are old, so you've been yeah. thrifting, I guess. Yes. I think, think you're so good at it. I'm getting better and better, huh? <laughs> Look, thank you, Carl. This this is just what we need in the dollhouse. In the house. kitchen, yeah. To make it a very chic kitchen with copper utensils. Yeah. You know, I have to make some shelves in the kitchen mm. to put more stuff on the shelves. Yeah. And we have this cabinet, but I think maybe that's too... That's like narrow mm. shelves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for pans and casseroles that we could hang on the wall. Wouldn't that be cool? That like hang, be so them, cool. hang them in rows on the wall so you have like a whole wall of copper yeah. and stuff. That would be really just cool. Just what I needed. Thank you. You're welcome. You know me so well. And uh, I think now we're even, right? I mean, eight hours in the Blue Lagoon, and I've done a lot of thrift storing this. Uh, but you haven't fall. been in the thrift shop so many times. I think you got it the one time. No, I've been in thrift stores many times. You're so right. many that you can't count, Arne. <laughs> At least six times. But you see, if you spend more time in the thrift shop, then I have to go more to the lagoons when we go to Iceland. Oh, deal. <laughs> you got a deal. Lagoon Gate is not on anymore. Uh, well, so far, now it is because we're not there. Yeah. And it will come back. Well, we hope so. Yeah. Oh, a moose is coming. Hey, Freya. Okay. We have the ball. Yes. This is the ball that match the sweater. Let's see the sweater again. Here's the sweater, and we've got the sleeve over there. There you go. This is more or less the same pattern. So let's put that up and Christmas is coming. Let's now take a look at the calendar, the way it is looking officially. <laughs> and as you can see, if you move a little bit out of the... There you go, Arne. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's more balls than sweaters now. That means Christmas is coming. It means Christmas is getting closer and we still have some fun reveals here. Uh, Eight more. Yeah. This one's fun. This one's... Yeah, they're all fun. They're all fun. 
<laughs> so we hope you've been enjoying this uh, reveal every day. Uh, we're popping in in the mornings uh, to reveal for you, and then you get to see it later on in the day. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we've got a price as well. Yeah. So remember to post pictures of your projects, if it's the sweaters or the balls, and you will be in the competition for winning this bag with a lot of needles. Yeah, this is a collapsible project bag. It's quite full now, so I... And then when you just do this, it opens up and you've got a lot of place here uh, to put your projects uh, that you want to have on the go. And uh, this particular collapsible bag is full, filled with a bunch of needles in our favorite sizes. And uh, one lucky winner will win this prize, um, and we will announce it on Christmas Eve. Yeah, and it will be a random winner. Yeah, so. and all you need to do is hashtag your images of your advent calendars, your balls, your mini jumpers or sweaters, and the contents inside, how you display them, anything you want to do actually. Hashtag Arne Carlos, hashtag Christmas Joy Handmade, and you will be eligible to uh, join the competition just by doing that and the random is going to be selected or the winner is going to be selected randomly <laughs> yeah. there you go more tea more Sorry? coffee more i need more tea it's okay. so early <laughs> yeah anyway so, formalities and if you like our videos thumbs up and put on your notifications if you're a subscriber if not be a subscriber and we we'll see you tomorrow see you tomorrow thank you so much for watching bye, bye.